Well, our next guest says, don't stress about what's for supper tonight. Just open the pantry door and throw this recipe together. Amanda Virgilito is here from Generous Helpings, and we're excited about this because, you know, we, a lot of times we have those nights where we just don't know what we're going to make for dinner. But if right. you have these things in your pantry, you've got an easy solution. That's right. That's yeah. right. So. so tell me about it. What are we going to Okay. Gonna well, as, as always, you know, I feel like... Good recipes start with olive oil and garlic. So of that's course what they we're do, don't they? <laughs> We've got our olive oil heated up and we're adding um, a few cloves of, of chopped garlic and we're gonna get that moving. And, and okay. basically, the base of this recipe is... Can I start for you? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I like when you do the work. Yeah. You're good at it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> canned tomatoes and canned beans. Yeah. And so, again, it's, it's one of those things where um, we almost always have those things in sure. our pantry. And if you don't have, I use white beans for this recipe, but if you want to use black beans, mm -hmm. like you said you do that at home yourself. Oh, I do. Yeah, we that's make kind a, of a Mexican emergency meal. That's if we the can't great thing it. about yeah. this recipe. And, and with today being Monday, I know a lot of people do the meatless Monday thing. So this is a really good vegetarian main course or if you want to do a fish or a chicken or another protein, then it's a really fantastic side dish. So. Okay, so we've got our garlic nice. working here. We've got our garlic working, and, and um, basically what we do, I, I do a combination of crushed tomatoes and diced tomatoes, but again, basically whatever you have at home will work with this recipe. This so. recipe is so versatile because you said you can serve this as a soup if you want to. Absolutely. That's actually how I, I made it the first time was as a soup, and um, now we're going to add the white beans in. And, um, you know, I needed to sort of make it a little more substantial, so I added it in with the brown rice to, to make it a full meal. Mm -hmm. But, um, and again, you can kind of be creative with the seasonings with this. So with this one in particular, I actually like to put fresh lime juice in there. Oh, you can neat. do lemon if you want, but I like the acidity that comes in, into play there. So it just kind of brightens up the flavor? So, um, yes, and you're going to want to let this simmer for a while. You're going to want to kind of let the tomatoes and the flavors all kind of break down together. But you juice the lime, I do salt and pepper, and then I like a little spice, so I do a little bit of cayenne pepper. Okay. You can certainly skip that if you want. The neat thing about this is that many of these items are things you would find at Second Harvest Food Bank. And we're doing this because you've got a great event coming up at Second Harvest that's going to help raise funds for this wonderful organization. Yes, so Second Harvest um, Food Bank in Middle Tennessee is, of course, a fantastic opportunity that, that helps combat hunger. And, and one thing that's um, surprising to me every time I hear the statistic is that one in six Tennesseans don't know where their next meal is going to come from. That's mind-boggling, isn't it? It, it absolutely yeah. is. And, and like you were saying, with summer coming and, and kids who normally have breakfast and lunch provided by school, then that's something that, you know, we need to be mindful of. And so um, Second Harvest does lots of different things to feed people. One thing is um, they have emergency boxes. So if people really need to go in and, and get something to eat. And again, these are some of the items that you might find in those emergency boxes. So mm -hmm. it's possible for people to make really satisfying, healthy meal for their family, thanks to Second Harvest. So Generous Helpings is coming up this Thursday night. It's a great yes. opportunity to take taste food from 25 different chefs. Yes, it's this is my, one of my favorite events of the year. Um, it is 25 local restaurants, so they really like to focus on local restaurants. And for your ticket price, you get you know, bites from all the different restaurants and you get to sample, you know, places that you may have never tried before. It's a terrific event. I hope you'll want to take advantage of that. You can get this recipe online. It's recipe number 5352. It's online now in the Talk of the Town recipe section at newschannel5.com. Don't miss Generous Helpings Food and Wine Tasting Event benefiting Second Harvest Food Bank Thursday night at 6 at City Winery. Get tickets at secondharvestmidtn.org. Amanda, thanks so much. Thank you.